Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well today, the bees are working me. I've got a lot of work to do today, and we're going to try to get it done. The goal, however, is to do a follow-up on the little blue nuke in the pine side of the resource hive. Now, the pine side of the resource hive, I hope they have a queen in there. If not, I'm going to be smashing that together with a little blue nuke today. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Also, these boxes are heavy. I tipped them yesterday, and there's a lot of nectar. I may have some full supers, may not. I may be taking honey off the hives today. I hope not. I don't think it's time yet, but if I have to, I will. But I did build 10 new medium supers yesterday and 100 new medium frames so these girls can start drawing those frames out. I'll get those on the hives if I can today. And uh, then anything else that we find unexpectedly. So let me get my veil on. Let me get the smoker lit. Let's get started. We have a lot of work to do today. Something else I want to do today, if I can, I'm going to put a second set of flow frames on this hive. I'm going to run a double stack flow hive this year and see how that works out. It may not work out at all, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, let's have a look. Hi, girls. Okay, they're storing honey. They've got a lot of work to do here. I don't see any laying up here, which means I definitely have the queen in the bottom box. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to give these girls an upper entrance really fast. Yeah, they've got the middle sorted out like they're going to put eggs in there, but there's no queen in this upper box anymore. So they're going to start storing honey in here. Let's do this. Let's put this back together just the way we found it. We get an upper entrance together for them. Here you go. It's all set up with the Guardian. We're going to put this flow hive back on. We're going to put this flow hive on. Double stacked flow hive. Let's see how this works out this year. Go ahead and close it up. Beautiful. Let's go to the yellow hive really quick, just have a look. All right, we're just going to have a look at yellow just to see if they're building up at all. The yellow hive has had issues this year. If you remember, when we got in here, the bottom box was not drawn at all. So I at least want to see if they're making any progress. Hi, right, girls. I think it's time for a queen excluder and a super for you. Lovely. I hope you have something going on down in the bottom. Let me clear off this cattywampus comb. In the last couple of videos, we've gotten into these hives, and these girls were drawing cattywampus comb, just weird, weird comb all over their all over their hive. And one of the comments that I received kind of gave me an explanation for that. And I think that the commenter is on to something. I think what he was saying is that your, the hive, it didn't have enough bees, enough girls out there that had their wax glands yet. And in order to build comb so they could sustain a queen cell or whatever it was they were trying to build, they would rob some of the wax from some of the other frames. And these wax or these frames didn't have that much wax in them. So there wasn't much to rob. So they were just stealing what they could and then building cattywampus comb with it. Well, I don't want that to happen. Okay, there's no queen there. I'm assuming she's on this last frame where all these other bees are. I mean she may be in that upper box, but I don't think so. I think she's here. I think she's down here laying. That's almost fully drawn. Okay, they're storing some nectar in there. I don't know why. They should be storing eggs down in here. I do not see any eggs at all in this frame, but it's a lot of newly drawn comb. So I guess that's a bonus. Let's see if we have the queen over here. Let's have a look. If not, maybe she's in the top box again. If so, I'm not going to disturb her. Hi, girls.
no eggs at all in here. I think that queen is still in the upper box. Okay, our queen has got to be in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just seal this hive back up. I don't guess they need a they don't need a medium, they don't need anything. They've got plenty of space. The queen has got to be up there. I guess she's gonna live on top this year. Nothing to see here. Let's move on to the green hive. Now remember, we just made this hive a few weeks ago during the emergency splits. This was the first blue queen. And then the blue box swarmed again and is now living in the navy hive. And then the blue box swarmed again and is now living in the little blue nuke. So a very prolific hive this year. Show me some evidence of some laying girls and I will be out, out, out. Okay. Oh, there's our queen. She is right there. Right there. So I see her. Here is an upper entrance for you. Complete with the guardian. So there we go. She is doing good. All right, ladies. Here we go. There is a way in and out for you, ladies. All right. Where's your lid? All right, now in here we have to find the queen. We don't have a choice. Because this hive, this hive, this has been drama hive this year. Last year was the, I guess last year Juno was the drama hive, but the year before that it was Red Dawn. This year, yellow hive is weak, but this hive, this hive keeps producing queens and swarming. This hive has been split, swarmed twice. Both swarms were recovered. It's crazy. All right, girls. Let's see what it is that you have going on in here today. Okay, so we are going directly down to the queen excluder. There's nothing I need to see in these, oh, in these upper boxes. You must see a queen in this box because you have swarmed multiple times and I need to see a queen. Okay, we have a lot of pollen, a lot of nectar, some drone cells, but no queen. Okay, and I've got some bees on me right now that do not seem very happy. Be happy, bees. Happy, happy. This hive is starting to get loud. I don't think they want me in here. Okay, they're just now starting to draw this out and they're drawing it out in a reasonable way. So I will let them keep this one. Hi girls, let me in here. Oh, and this is a heavy frame. Okay. If there's our queen, there's our queen. She is right there. She is walking around looking for a place to lay eggs. There you go, girls. To the sage hive. We've not even been in the sage hive yet. But I did hear a piping queen in here, and I did find a dead queen on the ground. If you follow the Instagram, you you know this and. I'll try to find the picture, and if I can, I'll put it in the video here. I found a dead queen on the ground in front of this hive, and when I went down to pick it up, I could hear a piping queen through the box. So I know that I have a new queen down in this bottom box, and I'm not really going to get in there to take a look at her. I'm just going to look at their honey stores. If the honey stores look good, I'll give them another super and a top entrance. Very quick and simple. Okay, this one 
drawing this out, drawing this out, drawing this out. This one's drawn out and being filled, being filled, drawing this out, drawing this out. I have one side of that one drawn out. So this one is very light. But they are working it. This one, on the other hand, this one looks finished. A brand new one for you girls. With some custom made, double waxed by hand frames. All right, now, now we got to go back there and look at the hives in the back. We've got to look at the pine side of the resource hive. We're going to look at both sides of the resource hive. And then we're going to look at the little blue nuke to see if that queen is doing anything. We might peek into Juno just to have a look. We might peek into Navy. So let's go to the back. All right. The old Gloveroni's on here. This is a glove year, I tell you what. All right. So now we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to check on the teal side of this hive, which has or should have a queen from the, I believe it was the purple hive when we did the split. We're just going to see how she's doing really, really quick. I'm sure she's going to be fine. We may actually give her some deeps up in this upper box and remove all of this uh, if she looks like mm -hmm. she can use it. And it looks like she may be able to use it. And then we're going to see if we have a queen at all in here. These girls do not seem to be too happy that I'm here. Okay, these girls are in good shape. Let's see if we can take a frame out and see if we see any eggs. And I see a ton of eggs. I don't need to find the queen. She's doing what she needs to do. I'm going to go ahead and give these girls another box today. Okay, I'm going to give you more room momentarily. Okay, now in here we want to find a queen. Last time I was in here I could not find a queen. I was hoping she was on a mating flight. But these are the bees that we took from... Okay, so there's a story here. We took the bees that are in the pine side of the resource hive from the teal side of the teal hive, from the teal hive up at the other bee yard. And when we brought them down here, I brought them down here with two queen cells. Well, those queen cells were chewed open, never found a queen. So after the blue hive swarmed, and I saw the queen in the blue hive, and I saw a couple of other big queen cells, I took the queen cells out of the blue hive and put them in here. Now, the problem is, is that before the two queen cells that I brought down from the teal hive, I think those were stabbed by the queen in that box and killed, and I think they chewed them out and discarded them here. I'm just hoping that the queen cells that I grabbed from the blue box, they were big ones, that I put in here, I'm hoping that wasn't the case also. I'm hoping I find a queen in here. If not, I may be condensing this hive and the blue nuke today into one colony. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a lot of bees in here now. More bees than there were last time. Holy moly. I mean, there's a lot of bees in here. Okay, this is, this is, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna take this off here. They're eating their, their pollen patty. That's another good sign. Okay, now right here and here, this is where I put the queen cells that I got from the blue hive, and they seem to have taken care of them. I just don't know whether or not there's a queen in this box, whether those have hatched, whether they're not going to hatch. I really don't know what the status is of them. Let's see what we can see when we get in here. Okay, there's a lot of nectar being stored. These girls are working. There's the remnants of a chewed out queen cell right there. Okay, a lot of pollen being stored. A lot of bee bread. I do not see a queen. I see some girls with pollen on their legs, and that's a good sign. I see somebody in a teacup right there. That's a bad sign. Okay. 
big zilcheroni. Handful of drones, a lot of bees. I think we're in the same situation this week that I was in last week. Let's have a look at those queen cells and see if they have, they look like they have not hatched or anything here. What's going on here? Okay. Yeah, these have been chewed out. These girls have no queen and no hopes of a queen. I'm going to have to get them some eggs. Yeah, they got, they got nothing. They've got nothing. Okay, I'm going, oh, 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 no, they have a queen. They have a queen right there. There she is. Yay. Yay, we have a queen. See her? Look at that. We have a queen. Okay, you're going back in. You're going back in. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put you in the middle. We have a queen. A new queen. Okay. So now I'm going to give these girls more room. Both of them. Okay. There you go, queen. There's a whole bunch of places for you to lay right there. Give you more places to lay on the other side. I'm going to give you a frame here. And now I'm going to give you another box. All right, that makes me happy. That makes me very, very happy. We have a queen in this box. What doesn't make me happy is that I can't put the lid on this without an inside cover. All right, let's take a look inside the blue hive. Now, we found a very small queen and put her in here. She swarmed out of the blue hive, and I think she was running for her life because of that monster queen that was in there. So they swarmed, landed in the pear tree, came back and stuck to the front of the hive. I found her on the ground on the front of the hive, but she was alive. So let's see what we can see here. All right, this might be a little bit better. Let's see what we can see. Come on, girls. Now, they've only got two frames of bees in here. The rest are just empty, empty frames. And I am going to run and get some double waxed as soon as I'm done with this inspection because these girls need every advantage they can get. Right now, they got no advantage. All right. They're starting to draw a comb out there, which is a good sign. It tells me they're doing something. They have a purpose. All right, where is our queen? There's another hive beetle. There was another hive beetle. Okay, no queen there. There she is, right there. Walking around doing nothing. Maybe that's why they kicked her out. There she is. Lay an egg, lady. Lay an egg. Lay an egg. She's just wandering around doing nothing. Lay an egg. There's no eggs in here. If you don't lay an egg, I'm going to have to get another queen and put in here. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to take a frame of brood I'm going to check, I'm going to check Juno really quick and see if there's a frame of brood that I can get for this hive. Let me, let me cap this really quick. Be right back. Okay, I just went over to Juno and stole a frame of bees with eggs on them. That should boost this hive. And if this queen is not performing, it will give them the ability to produce another queen. So there's a bunch of nurse bees on here. They have everything they need. Juno is over there and she is doing what Juno does. She is just laying eggs like crazy. She's in the medium box, but she's doing what she needs to do. So now, the girls may have this extra frame. And you are good. All right, we're just going to have a quick look in here. Let's 
see what this is looking like. Oh, a lot of bees. A lot of bees. Now again, this was, this was from the, from the blue hive. And that blue hive has been creating a lot of bees this year. We're going to go ahead and remove this top frame really quick, or this top box. See what we have happening down here. Probably nothing. Those are probably all in the top. Because there's nothing drawn out down here yet. Yeah, nothing going on there. They're working on it. Okay, nothing to report from down below. Let's put this back up here. Have a gander, see if we can't find that queen really quick. I'm probably standing on the wrong side here, aren't I? And find us a queen. Ladies. We look real quick and then I will be out, out, out. Okay, a lot of nectar in there. This is sugar water nectar. It's nothing that they've been forging. This is, this is blue. This is what I gave them. I do not have a queen on there. Nor would I expect to. that hawk is a singing today. She wants to eat my chickens. Okay. Do not see a queen on there at all. Do have some more blue sugar syrup. have a queen here I don't think they're all eating blue sugar syrup the big negatory zilch areno where's their queen okay, you had one when I put you in here take the box off and go back down to the bottom bottom maybe she ran down to the bottom nothing at all there Two bees there, no queen. There's no queen. There's no queen in this box. What is going on? You go. I'm calling it. You do not have a queen unless she's out on a mating flight, and she shouldn't because she already swarmed. And there's your lid. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, there you go. We managed to achieve our goals. Well, most of our goals anyways. We were able to get a medium super put on most of those hives and an upper entrance put on most of those hives. And we found most of the queens that we wanted to find. But we also didn't find some of the queens that we wanted to find. And what really worries me is the Navy Hive, which was a swarm from the Blue Hive. And I know that I put a queen in that box. I saw the queen that I put in that box. And now she's not in that box, so I don't know. Maybe she's on a mating flight, but why would she be on a mating flight? I mean, do virgin queens swarm? Is that a thing? I don't know. I know that we have another virgin queen situation in the little blue nuke, which also came from the blue hive. I found her on the ground during a swarm, and I took her and her bees and put them in the little blue nuke. And she's still there, but she's not laying. She's not doing anything. She doesn't really look mated. She's got a long abdomen, but not a whole lot else going on there. So I took some eggs and some capped brood and some nurse bees from Juno and put them into the little blue nuke and hopefully that will hopefully that will do something hopefully that will give them the opportunity to make a new queen if they feel like they need to make a new queen because the one that's in there now is just not really performing but the good news and we do have some good news the pine side of the resource hive has a queen 
I guess one of the large queen cells from the blue hive that we put in there last week that I was worried that they would have been stabbed by that monster queen that was in the blue hive weren't. And a queen has hatched out and we have a big queen in that box. Now she hasn't started laying yet, but it's gonna be any day. She's ready to go. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that, that that resource hive is going to be a good, a good hive. Now, one last thing before I let you go, and this is really gonna see who stays to the end of the video. If you have an apiary, if you have beehives and you don't have a YouTube channel and you would like to show the rest of the subscribers your hives, do me a favor, send them to send me some pictures to gabugfarmer at gmail.com. I would love to share them with the rest of the community out here. I would love to see them. You see my hives every day. I never get to see yours, but I know that uh, you're beekeeping too, possibly. And if you're not, maybe you're, you're going to be a beekeeper, but we would like to see some of your, your pictures, so send them to me. And if you'd like, I could post them out on the channel and let people uh, take a look at them. With all that said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday at three o'clock and we try to keep it light and have fun here. With all that said, have a great day, be happy, and I'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs> now I've got to go clean up. still here go home watch another video i've got a lot of them in the playlist